Monster Energy Yamaha MotoGP's Fabio Quartararo and Remy Gardner, replacing the injured Alex Rins, kept busy during the 15 laps of the Motorrad Grand Prix Deutschland sprint. They put pressure on the rivals ahead of them and made some late overtakes to secure 13th and 20th place respectively. The 2021 MotoGP champion was battling in the busy mid-pack. He was part of a group of four riders and secured 13th place. Remy Gardner gained solid experience putting the M1 to the test in a race setting. Thanks to a late overtake, he finished in 20th place. Gardner was excited to start his first ever MotoGP sprint, he had a good start from P22 as he stormed towards the first corner. He tried to follow the pack and later focused on his own race rhythm. The Australian kept a solid pace and passed Acosta three laps before the end. It spurred him on to make a late charge towards Joan Mir, who he overtook in the final stages. Gardner then dashed towards the start-finish straight to take the checkered flag in 20th place, 26.366 seconds from first. After finishing his first-ever sprint race on Yamaha M1, the Australian commented. I had a really good start, like I made up for one row on the grid, but when I went onto the first corner, I didn't break too late. I chickened out a bit, to be honest, and Joan Mir and Johan Zarco got past me again. I was trying to get back around, trying in turn 5, but I couldn't manage it, and then Stefan Bradel got by me. I was missing some explosivity on the first 5 laps to make those good lap times because after that I was managing it, but they had already made a bit of a gap. For sure, I learned a lot in that sprint race, I got some data, and tomorrow I will come back with a different head, and it will be a different story then. Quartararo started from P14 and gained a position early on but then got under pressure. Over the first couple of laps, he was fighting to keep his position but was soon relegated to 15th place. The Yamaha man was part of the group battling for 11th position. With three laps to go, Pedro Acosta ran off track, moving the Frenchman up to 14th. On the last lap, Quartararo also overtook Raul Fernandez to cross the finish line in 13th place, 14.432 seconds from the winner. We tried a lot of things on the electronics today. During the sprint race I was behind a group, and I could see where we need to improve. Unfortunately, we can't seem to find a quick fix for this to make the next step, but we are trying to improve it this weekend. At this track, I expected it would be difficult, said El Diablo. Today's results see Quartararo in 15th place in the overall standings with 39 points. The injured Rins remains in joint 20th position with 8 points. Gardner is yet to score points. Monster Energy Yamaha MotoGP keep their 9th place in the team championship with 47 points, and Yamaha hold on to 4th position in the Constructors' Championship with 43 points. Massimo Marigali, team director explained, as expected, the sprint was a tough outing. It's very difficult to overtake here, but Fabio did apply pressure and made sure he was ready to take action whenever an opportunity presented itself. The reality is that our pace is currently not fast enough to get us where we want to be, but today's sprint data will help us to prepare something for the race. Remy is continuing to impress us. He picks up information quickly, and the team enjoys working with him. He is doing a good job, especially considering how much the conditions have changed compared to yesterday and how little time he has spent on our bike. The sprint was a good rehearsal for him for tomorrow's race. We will make some setting tweaks, and then we just want him to keep doing what he's doing. Keep pushing, keep collecting data, and keep improving lap by lap.